Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media, IPOB Press Release. July 2, 2024. The defense headquarters confessed to the killing of Ndigbo. The global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, ably led by the great and indomitable leader Masi Inemdi Okukanu, confirms the killing of hundreds of innocent Biafrans tagged as IPOB SN by the murderous Nigerian army as confessed by the defense headquarters in Abuja on June 27, 2024 during a media briefing. The recent statement from Nigeria Defense Headquarters confirmed and vindicated IPOB's press releases previously, which said that the Nigerian government and its security agencies slaughtered innocent citizens of the southeast region without provocations. It is important we alert the public that the Nigerian Defense Headquarters spokesperson, Edward Buba, confessed that the Nigerian army killed over 180 and arrested over 254 Igbios in Abia State between April to June of 2024 under the codename Operation Udo K. According to the publication by People's Gazette newspaper, the casualty figure, as claimed by the defense headquarters, is much less than the actual number of people the Nigerian army killed and abducted in Abia State over the period in question. This confession from the defense headquarters through Edward Buba confirmed the alarm that IPOB raised that the Nigerian military killed hundreds of Biafrans secretly and abducted many and sent them into secret locations in reprisal for the false flag operation the military masterminded that led to the killing of some Igbua soldiers on duty at the Mark checkpoint in Abia during May 30th, Biafra Heroes Day. The Nigerian government and her murderous military were responsible for the murder of the Igbibo soldiers while they turned around to blackmail IPOB without any investigation. After the false flag operations by the military, the military then went on a killing spree of innocent B.I. Afrans in Abia State. Most of the killings and abductions happened in remote villages in the cover at night. When they killed, they evacuate the dead bodies to avoid being blamed. To set the record straight, the majority of the people killed or arrested by the Nigerian army were innocent Biafran youths. Fortunately, no member of ESN vigilante was among the people the Nigerian army killed or arrested. However, few of the victims of the military killings and abductions were unarmed, non-violent IPOB members and innocent Igbo civilian members. IPOB leadership knows the number of IPOB members that the Nigerian military have abducted or killed. IPOB members are not violent and not terrorists as the Nigerian government claims. The worst of it is that those they tagged IPOB members were not IPOB members at all but ordinary members of Biafra society. The Nigerian army is a terrorist institution. The Nigerian army are the ones recruiting the so-called repentant Boko Haram terrorists who were deployed to the southeast region to kill the people without mercy. The murderous terrorists in the Nigerian army have killed and abducted over 5,000 innocent Igibos from January 2023 to June 24. The ethnic bigots and terrorists, the sympathetic Nigerian military is less concerned with the numerous terrorists' killings and kidnappings in the northern Nigerian regions, but are obsessed in blackmailing IPOB for calling for the exit of Biafra nation from their terrorist breeding country. In many years of blackmailing IPOB, no IPOB member at home or in diaspora has ever been convicted of any crime, let alone that of terrorism. Therefore, we are calling on the international community. United Nations Human Rights Commission, Amnesty International, Intersociety, Human Rights Watch, European Union, African Union, BRICS Federation, Britain, and the United States to investigate the Nigerian government and her security agency's role in the genocide against Igbo ethnic group. And Igbo have become endangered species that are killed at will by the Nigerian government through their murderous security agencies. The Nigerian army murdered over 3,200 innocent people in Igboland in the disguise of going after IPOB members who were innocent of all the accusations from the Nigerian government. Not all Igbo persons are IPOB members. Moreover, IPOB members are not terrorists and have never been involved in any terrorist activities in Nigeria or outside of Nigeria.
The only crime that IPOB members committed against the Nigerian government is our peaceful demand for a referendum date for Baya France to decide their fate whether to continue in one Nigeria or exit to form a new nation of Biafra. The self-determination struggle championed by IPOB led by Masi Enamdi Kanu and the Directorate of State State of the Indigenous People of Biafra is in line with UN laws and African Charter, which Nigeria is a signatory to. The venomous hatred that the Nigerian government visits on the non-violent freedom movement by IPOB is just an extension of the same ethnic hatred against Ndigbo in Nigeria. This recent statement from the Nigeria Defense Headquarters has exposed them. The Nigerian army has killed more than 1,000 innocent Biafrans in Abia State alone and over 3,200 in the entire southeast from April to June 2024. The Nigerian army masterminded an attack on their soldiers at a checkpoint at ABA on 30th May using false flag operation to blackmail IPO ban to justify the genocide against Ndigbo. The terrorists and bandits are on rampage in the northern regions of Nigeria, killing and kidnapping people, but the Nigerian army is feigning ignorance. Instead of going after the terrorists in the north, they are going from village to village, harassing and abducting innocent Igbos and slaughtering them. The Nigerian army has never massacred civilians in the north in the name of retaliating against the killing of their soldiers, which is a regular occurrence in the north. Nigeria's government has two laws operational in their one Nigeria, vicious laws for the Ndigbos and friendly laws for the rest of their Nigerians. The international community should investigate the murderous actions of the Nigeria defense apparatus. They should be questioned about the whereabouts of hundreds of unarmed Biafra civilians they abducted from their homes and forcefully disappeared. The Nigerian army should release the dead bodies of Biafrans they massacred in their respective detention facilities across the country. Also, they should release numerous Biafrans they abducted and dumped in various detention facilities in Nigeria. The Nigerian army are mass murderer of Ndigbo, and they have confessed to their crimes to the world. Comrade Emma Powerful Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.